over 90% of the people who sign up for the gym after New Year's drop after only four weeks. Here's where experts are reminding you to stay on track. A new year means new resolutions. Fitness manager at TrueFit, Randy Garza, says he sees a large influx of newcomers around this time of year. But unfortunately, sometimes they set goals too high to keep up with. They'll set these high expectations on themselves, and they've probably heard of other people, or they see these um, TV ads saying that you can lose 20 pounds in 10 days, so they hit these expectations of losing this weight really quick. Unrealistically, um, just basically setting a realistic goal for them would be the number one thing. He reminds us who are trying to get fit to take it slow and steady in order to gain lasting results. Continuously coming in every day, you're not going to see the results overnight. Uh, it obviously takes work inside and outside of the gym, but we're here to definitely help them out to make that a smooth transition so that they're able to see uh, a lifestyle change. And making that change could help those not only looking to get fit, but those who have been diagnosed with diabetes. A lot of times people don't know that they're in the danger zone in terms of their health, so trying to attack it now before it gets worse later on, especially, especially in young adults. I mean, I meet many kids, uh, 17, 18, uh, up to 22 years old, that are high risk of diabetes because it runs in their family and we just want to make sure that we attack that now so that later on they won't have to be on medication. One of his biggest tips, get a gym partner. This will help you keep motivated and encouraged to keep up with your fitness goals. Garza reminds those who are trying to get fit to just walk on over to the nearest gym and give it a try. People of all ages are welcome. For now in Harlingen, Nora Salinas, Action 4 News.